I'm a syndicated cartoonist for the most part and a children's book writer. Uh, when I was doing The Turtles, for instance, those were all children's books that we, that we not only illustrated, but we came up with the concepts for the stories and all of that kind of stuff as well. The, the things I guess that I'm most known for is writing and drawing the Muppet Show comic strip that was all around the world in the 1980s in newspapers everywhere, and I worked directly with Jim Henson all those years, and it was awesome. And I was one of the guys that Jim asked to help create the Muppet Babies way back in the day. And of course, I worked on all of the Muppet properties, you know, from Muppet Babies to Fraggle Rock, and many of the toys and games and stuff that your parents and bought, you know, all through the 70s and 80s and 90s and stuff, were all stuff that I wound up working on uh, when I was working for Jim. Well, I've been working for Guy over a year and a half now, and it's just such a huge blessing to be able to work on one of the top 10 comic strips in the world. And just like Guy, we both didn't go to college. And it's just, it's a huge deal to me personally that I get to have an education and have one of the most sought after jobs in the freaking world. It's great. One of the really cool things about coming to the conventions is meeting you guys. And you guys coming up and telling me like how you grew up on Muppet Babies or the Turtles or how you still have all my old little comic anthologies of the Muppets, you know, or people coming up to me with stories about Nancy and Sluggo and how much they've meant to them and their parents and their grandparents and stuff. And, and meeting little children who are discovering the Muppets and the Muppet Babies and the Turtles and stuff for the very, very first time and watching them like just like go like this. When you draw it right in front of them and they know it's not a computer, it's like a real guy. It's so, so cool. I love this. The Muppet Babies came about in the third Muppet movie. It was called Muppet's Take Manhattan. And Jim had the idea to make, you know, baby versions of his characters. And they did a couple of them uh, as puppets, you know. And then they sent me the photographs and said, would you please draw what you think all the characters would look like? you know, as cartoons. Because, of course, I was drawing the cartoon version of the grown-up Muppets every single day. So that was sort of my thing. And since I'm a writer, I would come up with different ideas on how they could use their imagination and all that kind of stuff. Things that wound up finding their way you know, into the production once the production started. When you're working on something, it's a conversation between you and your piece of paper and your heart. Okay, because you're working on stuff, and all these characters are little pieces of my heart. So I'm, so I'm trying my honest best to be straightforward and come up with stuff that's going to touch you, make you happy, light up your face, you know? And so when I see that happen, that smile, you know, that this meant something to you, it was, it's a memory for you, or it's a memory happening for you right now, man, that's the coolest thing in the whole world. Like there was a kid in here, remember that kid yesterday that couldn't talk? He, he, he doesn't talk, okay? And he's about three now and he's really not saying anything. When he, when, now he saw Spider-Man and so he does this, you know, like he does the, like, yeah, the, right? But he doesn't talk. When he saw Tom and Jerry, his mom said, he said, cat, mouse. He talked, and so um, I got up and I saw him. He was wearing Spider-Man thing, you know, and he's going tsh, 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 right. And he was looking at me because I drew Tom and Jerry, right. And I was holding up Tom and Jerry, and he's going cat, mouse. And ma the mom started like crying because he it's. He's connecting, he's actually connected. Cause he'll look away, he doesn't want to look at anybody or anything. So I got up, I came out there where you are now, right? And I took my pad and I quickly drew him the Spider-Man that was on his, and when I gave him the Spider-Man, he was literally shaking with joy that he had this. And he's showing it to his mom and I mean, oh my gosh. I mean, that, that I could do anything that's that meaningful. Dude, this is it. This is what it's all about. And it's all because I came to the Comic Con and I met people.